Hey guys, very quickly, uh, this is our lesson 1B. Yes, still on that lesson 1, parts of the upper limb. We're going to continue and look at everything about the forearm or antibrachium as well as the hand. We have learned everything about your um, shoulder as well as your what, your arm or your brachium. So what is it about the forearm or antibrachium that we must know? First, I'd like you not to forget this very quickly, the definition of your forearm or your antibrachium. Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all, they are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. How do we define it? It's very simple. Tell us that the forearm or antibrachium is that part that is between the elbow, elbow is the cubitus, right? And the wrist, that part between the elbow and the wrist. What do we call it? It is called the what? The forearm or the antibrachium. So here is it. Look at it very quickly. The part between the elbow and the wrist. What do we call that part? It is simply called your what? Your forearm or your what? Your antibrachium. More interestingly, I like you not to forget this. What are the bones, right, of the forearm or the antibrachium? How many bones do we have here? This side I'm touching. How many bones there? Here? There are just two bones there. What are the two bones there? Number one is the ulna. What is it? Ulna. And number two is called the what? The radius. Ulna and radius. Now, where is the ulna? Where is the radius? Of course, here is your what? Your ulna. The one in red is the honor, and then this is the word radius. Pay attention, if not, you'll not be able to answer the questions. Now, where is the honor? You can see that from this diagram, you can see carefully that honor is kind of like longer or bigger than the radius when you view it properly. So, honor and radius, one is bigger than the other. Which one is bigger? Honor is longer than the word, the radius. Because of the presence of the Ulicranon process. As you move, you learn all of this. But you can identify your honor. You can identify your what your radius. Now listen carefully. Honor is medial. When you stand anatomically, honor is medial. By medial means that honor is closer to the body anatomically. Radius is what? Lateral. That's the difference between the two of them. One is media. Which one is media? Honor is medial. Radius is what? Lateral. If you get that very fast, don't forget this quickly. The articulations. Oh, yes. What are the joints that you are going to see um, in, with, that articulate with your what? Your forearm or the antibrachium. Of course, there will be two joints there. One up, right, or superior. The other one will be what? Inferior. What are the two joints? Number one is the elbow joint. Elbow joint. Where it is articulating with the what? The humerus. And number two is the radio honor joint. The joint between the radius and the honor. What will it form? It will form the radio honor joint. So, once you just hear radio honor joint, what is radio honor joint? The joint between the radius and the honor. They will form the what? The radio honor joint. So, you have the elbow joint and the radio honor joint. Let me show you very quickly. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account? Very easy. Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you say create account and login. You only log in, right, when you already have an account. Since you don't have an account, create, click on create account. When you get there, put in your phone number. Put in your phone number. After putting in your phone number, you click on continue, right? Your first name, of course, you put in your first name there. If your first name is James, you put in James as your first name. Your last name, if your last name is Victor, you put in what? Victor as your last name. Then you come to email address, right? Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com Then your password, right? Oh yes. Those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh yes. So, let me say James 12. James 12 as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. 
under select education, of course, university. You click university, leave secondary, primary, leave the others, click university or tertiary, click it. Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create accounts. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class. Easy and direct. So you see it. This is how you create your account. And then from here, you can see that you have your anatomy here, your upper limb, your lower limb, separately embryology, histology, systemic anatomy, those ones are for nursing, your CVS, cardiovascular system, your blood physiology, excitable tissues, systemic physiology, intro to biochemistry, your bio molecules, BCM for nursing, nursing psychology. You have access to every single Latin in the app. Now, let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, fork, arm, hand, all of them, part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone of, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you. Right? Okay. Let me say I want to start now and then I want to watch joints of the upper limb. All you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch, joints of the upper limb. And what will happen? Your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately. So you see, you may choose to say, okay, I want to rotate it. Right? Oh, yes. Rotate it. And you start following your classes immediately. Easy and direct. You may choose to say, okay, you want to forward, you want to pause, you want to back and um, back forward, anyone you want to do. And you take it forward and what happened, you can see all of them very, very easy. And the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class. Are you with me? So that's for that. And you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app. Oh yes, when you get to the notes section of the app, of course, the notes are there. Mm -hmm. Well organized and arranged for you. And you can zoom in and then start following back to back. And you are following. You may even choose to go and start answering questions. Questions are there for you. And there are answers. You start um, following through every singular facet of it. And you are learning on your own. And there is CPT in the app as well for you. A lot of other aspects that you can follow up. All of this in the LearnLift app. Same way you have for anatomy. That's how you have for physiology. That's how you have for biochemistry. And you're getting it now. For the now, bye-bye. From there, you can see this guy here is the elbow joint, right? Elbow joint. And then the one that is now forming between the radius and the honor, what will it form? Radio honor joint. So your forearm or your anti-break, your mass and many joints, two joints, the elbow joint and the what? Radio honor joint. Period. You're out of there. Quickly. And the last part is the word the hand, right? Of course, this guy here, yeah, what do we call it? That's the hand. So the hand, the question is, what should I know? First and foremost, what are the compartments that we have in the hand? There are three major compartments in the hand. Number one is the wrist or what? Capos. What's number one called? The wrist or the what? Capos as one of the compartments of the hand. Number two is called the hand proper. Or the metacarpus. Number one is the wrist or carpus. Number two is called the hand proper or the what? Metacarpus. Number three is called the digits. What is it called? The digits. Which include the thumb and the what? The fingers. They form the digits. Oh, Sir Peter, show me. Look at this very quickly. From this now, what can we say? You can see your carpus. Number one is the carpus or the wrist. Right? How many carpal bones do we have? All together, there are eight carpal bones that we have. Eight. What about metacarpals? The metacarpals there, which is the second part, is also called the metacarpals. So they include the metacarpal bones. How many metacarpal bones do we have? There are five of them all together. And then number three, we have what is called the phalanges. The phalanges, that's number three. And these phalanges there, of course, they are the digits, right? That include the word, the thumb and the finger. How many phalanges do we have all together? Of course, the phalanges are 14 all together. So, how are they 14? Every part here, don't worry, as you move, you are going to learn them quickly. 
This guy here has one, two, three, three phalangial and three phalanx. One, two, three, three phalanx. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's 12, right? And here is just one, two. Thumb has two. If you add them together, how many do you have there? 14 is all you have all together. So if they ask you how many bones will come together to form the hand, what will you do? You just total all of them together. Your 8 plus your 5 plus 14. How many will you give you? 27 bones altogether. That's what you have there. So once you go, give me um, the three parts that come together to form the hand. What are they? Number one is the carpus or the wrist. Number two is called the metacarpus. Or the what the metacarpa bones that before the metacarpa bones there, right? Number three is the one we call the digits. The digits there include the thumb and the finger, and all together we call them the word the phalanges. If you get this very fast and you understand it very quickly with me, let's rock this together. Answer this question for me. The question here says, I want to go, which part of the upper limb consists of the carpus, metacarpus, and the digits? Of course, the carpus there. What are they? These are the carpus or the carpal bones. How many there? Eight altogether. Metacarpus, we include the metacarpal bones, five, and then the digits, all of them together. What do you call this side? What do they form? Option A say they form the shoulder, huh? Just the play. Option B say they form the arm. No. Option C say they form the forearm. Option D say they form the hand. What is the answer? Hand. Option D is the answer. Easily, you are out of there, no stress. Does it make sense? We are still in the introduction aspect of these classes. If you get this very quickly with me, that means you don't have any problem or any stress with this class at all. Guess what? I'll see you in lesson two shortly. And in lesson two, guess what I'm going to be looking at? And um, please, before you go to lesson two, I beg you, run to my notes, right? There are questions in the notes for you. In fact, there are different categories of questions here. There are MCQ questions for you. There are true or false questions for you. Don't play with them. Go and run through the questions first before you go to lesson two. And don't forget to also practice CBT. Always practice CBT. And very importantly, tell a friend about the LearnLift app. Tell a colleague about the LearnLift app. Tell your niggas that men, the classes are available in the LearnLift app for them. Let them start learning. For the now, I'll see you in lesson two. And lesson two, I'm going to be looking at the bones of the upper limb. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.